to Oleoboard's crop tool tutorial. Within this tutorial, I'm basically going to show you how to use the crop tool to manipulate items on your mood board and achieve the look you're going for. So let's begin. So let's say that I really enjoy the look of this sectional, but instead of a sectional, I'd like to see it more as a sofa. To manipulate this item, what we need to do is select the item on the mood board, go up to our toolbar, and hit the crop option on the toolbar. When you hit the crop option, you're going to notice that your product gets centered in the mood board and there's four orange corners that you can use to pull on and basically crop out the section of the product that you don't need and keep the section that you do need. So this is the part we keep and everything outside of that is going to get cropped off. When you're happy with what you've selected, you simply go up to the top and hit the orange apply changes button. So now we have half of our sofa. To get the other half of the sofa, I'm going to go up to the toolbar and hit the duplicate option. Now we have the other half of the sofa, I just need to go to the orientation part of the toolbar and hit the option that says flip. We just piece those two pieces together and now you can see that sectional as a sofa and it'll give you a clean idea of what of the kind of look you're going for. Now let's say that I really enjoy this clock but I don't want the wall that the clock is actually sitting on. To crop that out let's go back up to our crop tool and when we're in here you're going to notice that you can actually crop images based on rectangular shape, rounded corners, or circles. We're going to select the circle option which is perfect for us since we're dealing with the clock and basically pull in the orange corners until we have selected just the clock and we've hidden the majority of that wall. So now that we have just the clock I'm going to go up and hit the apply changes button and now you can basically stick that pure white clock on any colored wall you want. So let's take that crop tool and actually use it within a 3D mood board creation. I created this mood board a little while ago and I want to show you some of the ways in which I use the tool to achieve the look I'm going for. So when I create 3D mood boards, I like, to I like to basically keep really clean lines on the edges of my mood board. The reason I like to do that is because I like it to look as if this is a photograph that's taken of an actual 3D space. It's hard to imagine that when you have these rough edges of products hanging over the edge. So I like to basically select those items, we're going to go back up to the toolbar, and just crop out a little bit of it to give ourselves a nice clean edge. I'll slide that back into place and there we have a nice clean line. Now one of the other things I like to do with the crop tool is I use it to actually show items that are kind of hiding behind railings or hiding behind walls. So I have this lovely starburst here and I basically want to show it as if it's hanging on the wall behind the railing on the second floor. Now right now it's basically sitting in front of that railing so we're not getting that illusion of depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this item, I'm going to go back up to the toolbar, hit the crop option, we'll crop off half of this tool, apply the changes, and bring it back up. Now all you really need to do is use the rotation tool to match the angle of the railing with the angle of the actual product and there you have it the starburst looks as if it's sitting on the, on the wall of the second floor behind the railing so these are some of the options these are some of the ways in which I incorporate the crop tool into my creation process and I hope it's been helpful to you thanks for watching